a totally tropical welcome back to Lucas Island for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I have 8,000 litres of manure, 10,000 litres of water. We're heading to the greenhouses. I mustn't, I, I've got a expand i haven't been out to those two islands yet have i who knows what delights might be awaiting me out there silly g mm, who knows what could be out there we'll have to expand out to those anyway i'm taking these to the greenhouses on my way out here we're going to go past the still and past the biogas we've already got some stuff in the bunker silo um silage clamp I'm going to cut some more grass, I'm going to build a second one, and we'll put some more in. It holds about 70,000 litres, so we should have a fair bit. Thank you to all the people that have been offering aid, assistance, have been contacting the shipping company about things that can be sent out, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, as far as the steel goes, it dawned on me, and the fact a couple of people commented, that um, we've got potatoes, haven't we? we could make some kind of potato alcohol so I was doing a bit of research it is absolutely doable um, a famous lady called Ava Ekebald no Ekeblad Ekeblad I think it is from Sweden I think it was she was Swedish and she was a countess I think it was yeah and she was uh, one of the first women to be included into she was a scientist first female member of the Swedish Academy of Science is what she was anyway she was a countess and it's the story is quite amazing really I'm trying to find where it was she grew her own batches of potatoes for study her experiments led her to observe that starchy vegetable could be ground down into a form of flour at the time, Sweden was suffering from a shortage of oats and barley grains, and Ekerblad's findings meant the potatoes could be used as a substitute, which is pretty impressive. Um, but she's more known and renowned for unearthing another potato creation, the production of alcohol, including vodka. This breakthrough meant that other grains that were being used to make alcohol, including wheat, could be saved for food production. Ekerblad's scientific work helped to prevent famine in Sweden in the following years. I, I love the fact that <laughs> people there was a famine. People were using the wheat to make alcohol. Um, and because she found another way to make alcohol, she saved lives. She saved lives while making alcohol. That's amazing. <laughs> I love the spin on that. That's pretty cool. Um, it involves mashing the potatoes to release starch. Step one. It does say about adding enzymes. I'm not quite sure what enzymes I would need to add. Which turns the or converts the starches to sugars, which then ferment, and then you distill the mixture. Hey presto, potato vodka. And it remains a very popular drink in Sweden. Uh, according to what I'm reading, Carlson's Gold Potato Vodka was ranked the top ten, in the top ten potato vodkas in the world. I didn't know there was a ranking for potato vodkas. I'd, I'd heard. I my, my dad always used to say, "Oh yeah, you can make you can make it out of anything." You know, they they stick it in bath, I mean, bathtub gin and that kind of thing. You can ferment all sorts of stuff as long as you can release um, sugars and ferment it. I, I guess I'm no expert, but we could do. And now we've got a trade route. Oh yes. Our own moonshine. So what I'm going to do, once I've delivered this, I might have to come back and do another load, but it's going to be a lot easier than it was before. Now oh, that's interesting. I thought I had this on tip left. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Is that going to knock that out of whack every time I try and do it? Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, it's fantastic. I was trying to find out. There was some really inf interesting information about her. Oh, wow, that took a lot, didn't it? 
And it's kind of, it's weird, because she was kind of nobility anyway. And, um, she married, she married very well. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah, it says, Echabeld lived a life of relative comfort. Potatoes were a rarity. Your average Joe on the street didn't have access to them. Oh, hang on, just from past water. Why am I not getting the water trigger come up? This is a water tanker. It has water in it. Uh, that's odd. So she was a member of the Swedish nobility anyway, and then she married a count. Claes Clausen Ekeblad, she was 16 years old, on the occasion of her marriage, get this, you know, most people you get, you know, maybe a little uh, a dowry, you get some presents, off your, off your wedding list, that kind of stuff, she was given two castles <laughs> by her father, two castles, wow, and still went on to make alcohol for the masses, what a legend, okay, I'm really puzzled now. This is worrying me. It's because I was distracted. So I was reading to my right and then um, not paying attention to the fact I wasn't on trailer. It's because I was on the on the vehicle to unload the manure and then completely forgot to switch right. Let's try it again. I'm going to need to go back definitely for more manure, probably a couple of runs for manure. Switch to my trailer. And definitely more water. So, I'll do that off camera. What I'll then do is I'll grab the crawler from the other island. We'll load up this with potatoes, we'll take those to the still. Get those put in and we'll get some of that on the on the go and then oh i've got to finish off doing the barley harvest haven't i i started doing the barley harvest this is why i need another trailer i, I haven't got enough capacity to do multiple jobs so this is my only container really Ooh, my only container which is a bit of a nightmare we could do with uh my list is expanding cultivator plow larger tractor windrower trailer Yeah. And then expanding out to those other two islands. Who knows? It's possible there's a larger cultivator or plough or even a tractor or any of the things I've just talked about out on one of those islands. You just never know. Been doing some more grass cutting as you've seen and i've 
sorted out the greenhouses. They are now, I've got water and fertiliser in all of them. We've got two greenhouses with lemons, two greenhouses with tomatoes. We can have tomatoes. We're getting close to a full English breakfast. We're not far off. <laughs> we should be okay with that at some point. But, as they say, when life gives you lemons and potatoes, you make citrus vodka. I mean, that's what we're going to be doing. It does also mean... I don't know why it didn't even dawn on me about taking the potatoes. I've got another entire field. We got over 100,000 litres of potatoes off that first small field and 100,000 litres are in that silo. I've got another field of potatoes. I can take all of them to the still. However, <laughs> I really need a bigger trailer because this is um, not ideal. 8,000 litres at a time. If we get 150,000 litres off of the other field, or maybe even more, it's going to take me a long time. A lot of backwards and forwards. So, yeah. Let's stop that there. Let's take our first load. Yeah, we will. Makes more sense. There. I'm just curious to see what we'll get for 8,000 litres. It's not going to be very much. I've also, I suppose it's being on an island, I've completely just lost track of days as well. Since we got our first load of stuff delivered off the ship, and they said ships would be swinging around every... Oh, well, they said every two to three days, didn't they? So, I mean, potentially tomorrow? Has it been a day or two days already? I've, I've lost track. I honestly can't remember. Might have only been a day, yeah. So maybe tomorrow then. I don't know how late I can leave it. It's just like... <laughs> it's like doing a gross, an online grocery shop, isn't it? You've got to the certain time to add to that that delivery if you add to it in time it gets delivered if you don't it gets missed off so i need to make sure i've added everything i need to by the time we uh by the time the ship sails let's put it that way now, as you can see the money has gone down quite considerably I started to do a bit of landscaping out to the next bit of island. It seemed to be honking through the money way quicker than I remember it doing last time. We got through about 60 grand in yeah, no time flat. So we're not quite there yet. That's why I just skipped the bit where I don't, I don't want to show you it. Because <laughs> we're not quite there yet. We will get there. I'm kind of backwards and forwards with various different bits of machines. My crawler is the only thing I can use for loading and stuff at the moment, so I'm using that for picking up grass because I don't have a loading wagon. It's being used for potatoes. It's being used for excavation work to extend our island chain out. Now, if I've still got this on the left, I think I have. Let's see what we get for 8,000 litres. Well, just under 8,000. It's not going to be mind-blowing, but it's going to be money. It's not going to be like selling them um, selling lumber but we've got a lot of potatoes to sell so we, yeah it's going to be awful isn't it but it's not about that it's not about what we make from the potatoes it's about the fact we can now get the still up and running <laughs> 1601 for 8000 litres of potatoes Whew, okay well hey the money's going in the right direction that's all i can say could be a lot worse i've got a lot of trips to go back and forwards i am now wondering we've got our first eight thousand in what i might do is clear that pile on the ground and then we'll have a think about see if in our next delivery we get a larger trailer if we get a larger trailer then i'll do the, the harvest on the, the bigger field and we'll do a whole load more because i think we need a bigger trade. It's going to take me ages going backwards and forwards doing 80,000 litres at a time. I honestly don't know how much is in that pile. Didn't keep track when I was loading it or piling it all up. 
So, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get back to the grass because I want to fill... Oh, a second bunker silo. I've built a second bunker silo. That's another reason why the mine's gone down a little bit. We've built another one. I found some more tyres. Don't worry. I found some. Um, as you do. Hey, when you build your, build your silage clamps, I don't ask you where you got the concrete from. Although, it has been offered. Let me just see if I can find it. Where's my offer? Sorry. <laughs> I'll find it. It was offered on... Uh, was it a comment? Yeah, by Rumble Strip. So, it reads, I've sent along a, a catalogue... <laughs> A catalogue from the local dealer. Very easy guy to work with. I can make sure whatever you order gets to the port here in town. As for trade, it just so happens that I own the biogas plant in town and I'll pay you... Oh, I didn't even read that bit. I'll pay you 700 for a 1,000 litres of silage. I'll add in whatever seed you might need for the island as well, if that's of interest. I've also sent a pair of my young milker cow... Or my younger milk cows along out of my small herd. They've been good producers for me. Let's call it a present for possible future business relations. I've arranged to cover shipping with the company mentioned in your previous message. If you're interested, I'll send the concrete for a proper silage bunker. <laughs> that's cool. So, like I said earlier, thank you to everyone that's offering. I've got people offering to send tractors and all sorts of stuff via the, the shipping company. So let me saying about bunker silo and concrete. They're offering to send concrete. I mean, it could be concrete slabs and I build it myself. I don't know, but... <clears throat> so, loads of great offers. I do appreciate it hugely. I've got potatoes to sort out. Yeah, so the second silo's built. I've cut some grass. I'm putting some in. Until I've cleared the potatoes here, there's not... Maybe four or five runs. Once the potatoes are cleared here, I free up this which means I can then carry on. You can see the harvester over there. I've got a full load on there. I can't empty it because I've got nowhere to empty it to. I could just empty it onto the floor, but then that means I've then got to spend ages with the bucket picking it up. You know. So um, it, is, it is that kind of um, jigsaw puzzle, isn't it, of doing one thing at a time in the correct order because I don't have enough equipment and machinery to, to spread myself thin, you know. No workers to do anything for me, so it's all got to be done. One thing at a time, tick it off the list. Whoa. I love the way the suspension sags on that as soon as you get any weight on it. That's 16,000 litres, or just under, because it's not taking a full eight. I mean, it will do, but this isn't filling up to a full eight for some reason. Maybe five. Let's fill it to a full eight. Yeah, okay. Again, I'll see in a little while. This needs to be done, and I could have I could have done it all off screen, but you know all off camera but this is what I'm doing this is the work I'm, I'm getting done until the next delivery comes and that'll be the next evolution forward hopefully with a larger cultivator larger, you know, I'm going to carry on with the harvest that we've got but it'll mean I can prep the fields a lot quicker a larger trailer and a larger tractor will make a massive difference yeah It's 11.53. The mowing is complete. Let's turn that off. They have been removed. Oh, yeah. Silage clamp. Second silage clamp is filled. I think we're going to get some overspill again, but not the end of the world. That is ready to blanket because that has been compacted. Tiny little bit. We'll clean that up at some point. Uh, well, right, potatoes have all gone. That were on the floor. Money has gone down. Money has gone down because that final little bit, I just thought, you know what? Bite the bullet, let's do it. Get it get it done. 
So the excavator's over there. I have to do some more logging because I'm going to need to pay for the next shipment of things arriving. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, what I'm going to do, that's going back over to the dock because hopefully we're going to swap that for a larger muck spreader. But what's left in it, I'm going to spread over here on now. Our, I mean, I know they're all islands, but I keep friends this as the island. I don't know why. The fields here with barley. But what we need to do first is I need to clear this barley. That harvest is a mess. An absolute mess. I'm going to clear the barley. That's got one load in it. I will manure this, but I'll do that off camera. Well, all I'll do is I'll manure it with what we've got. And then we'll kind of, we'll go from there. I'm, we'll sort it all out. I'm sure it will all be all absolutely fine. And when that's done, we'll take what's quickest, I suppose, the tract. Oh, no, that will be, won't it? We'll drive over to the, the new bit and we'll go and have a look and see what's what. See what's new, what we may have found by unlocking the next section of island chain. Put that down. Cruise control on. Let's rock and roll. As I said before, I'm not... With collecting the barley, I'm not putting the straw down. When we did our first few harvests over on the main island, before we'd unlocked all of these extra ones, if you recall back... It seems like such a long time ago now. So we're only, what, ten episodes in? It seems like ages. Um, that we collected all the straw with the bucket. And because we did that, you know what I'm going to do is just do the turning radius of the harvester and then go again and we'll do the same thing the other way. So we have got a load in storage. Actually, how much have we got in storage? I didn't actually think to check that. Let's check our straw situation. 70,957. So if we were to get a couple of cows, we've got enough straw for bedding if we need it. And for making salt mixed ration, well, yeah, not as much. But we have got some. So we've got silage on the go. Oh, yeah, that's what I need to... I mentioned windrower. Did I mention tedder? I probably have done. I've said so many different things that we need to add to the list to buy tedder. Yeah, I'm sure I said tedder, didn't I? Because I said about doing hay before, so we're going to do salt mixed ration. It'll just be a couple of cows for us, for me, for milk. If anything happened further down the line and you know if we were to expand if we were to have holiday cabins uh, you know and we needed to provide fresh milk for um, paying guests then yeah we could expand to the herd probably who knows it must have been I was thinking yesterday was it yesterday yeah, it might have been how nice it would be to um, get back to doing the Let's Play. I know, I say I know, it's weird, I've said this before, the sort of narrative stuff that I like to do, and I, I personally like to do it. Let's raise that up. Is, um, it, it's, I'll say, it's something I like. And even if I'm doing it and I'm not doing a narrative, like outwardly so if I'm doing a let's play and I'm just doing a normal let's play internally I'll be doing a narrative I'll still be in my head thinking you know because I, I want something you know it's very much like the subscriber contracts that it seems to be very Marmite you know I think the only one that wasn't was Six Ashes people just loved it and I can't put my finger on it. I thought doing this would be more exciting, and I thought doing um, Rasvet would be too, with all those changes and it being a Ukraine map rather than a, 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 a basic European. I know that sounds a bit weird, or an American. It would be different. But I was thinking yesterday about how it would actually be quite nice. I was just for me as well, for setting up and that kind of thing to get back to doing just a, a regular let's play with no narrative at all where it is a little bit like I did on Stone Valley where it's literally if I do something I do it because I want to I do it because I want to use a piece of equipment 
I do it, you know, whatever reason, because it's what the farm needs. But, you know, there's no storyline driving any of it. And I know, like I say, it will, it will divide people. It's weird how it does that. I don't know why, but it seems to. Because, I'll be honest, setting this up and doing Rasvet, I suppose because I'm doing two fairly similar ones at the same time, and that's just the way it fell. And then a couple of maps came out. Italia, oh man, I can't... It's very weird as well with regard to... Um, with regard to views, and it's surprising how much a thumbnail can make a difference as well. That, I did Italia, and I'll be totally honest, I think that map, for me personally, I know I said it on the map tour, is up there as one of the finest maps made. Now, I did say it's stunning, it's beautiful, um, and with all the additional things that have been put on there, I think it's great. Now, a lot of people did comment to say that it's by no means perfect. Now, I just did the first at Map Talk. That wasn't an, an, a deep dive, it wasn't a delve into the inner workings of the map itself, and always with a Map Talk, that is the case. I'm showing you the map, the overview, I, I kind of first impressions of what I think, what I've seen at that point. I, I've never ever done a... I've never done a, a Map Talk and said, you know, definitively, I always try, if I can, to say that obviously at the time of recording what I have found so far just on first impressions it's, it's never a deep dive you know and, and you're always going to find I say you're always going to find you're likely to find more issues there appear to be on that map issues with what was it oh yeah contracts now you can do contracts you can do contracts with your own machinery if you do contracts to borrow machinery every time you do it it says there's no more space at the store and there's nothing at the store the store is deserted there's nothing there at all so there's obviously a problem with the size of the actual sort of um, spawning point spawning area on there um, a few people would then said the start field and possibly some of the other fields as well won't let you hire a worker and that you do need to plow them first before you can actually get a worker to work, which is not one. I've never I've, I've come across that before, maybe on a couple of maps. So it's by no means perfect with regard to gameplay, but as far as sort of visuals and what was included and all the extra stuff with the silage clamps and the integration of the railway, I, I, it's up there for me. It's one of the, 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 the best maps. So what I was saying was doing this and doing, uh, doing Rasvet, Spectacle Island came out, Italia came out, um, and I did the Italian map tour, and I wanted to show people to say, look, look at this, this is incredible. And it did okay, you know, views-wise, you know, a lot of people watched it, a lot of people enjoyed it, got a lot of feedback. The following day I did Plantation, which was A-Dub modding, and, and the sort of the crew around, it was NLA, NLA, NLA game, no, whoever it was, anyway. Um, which is a fairly basic um, forestry map, based on an American plantation no cell points other than the sawmill I mean, it was, it's a pretty basic map that did as well if not better with views than Italia and the only thing I can put it down to is the, thumb, the thumbnail I, 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 it's odd isn't it I, I don't know there doesn't need to be any rhyme or reason to it anyway yeah so just a while I was doing this but have a, have a chat just you know talk about stuff I'm hoping to it depends today what happens with regard to well it depends when you're watching this is cool as well but at the time of recording this this should post on Thursday the 13th I think it should post the initially so you may not be watching it on the 13th but depending what happens with mods if there are a lot of mods or there are mods and a map I will get those done but I want to get an FS22 update video done today because yesterday Farming Simulator blogged about the seasonal changes and I want to get a video up about that if I can. I'll, I'll try my best, I'll do what I can. Um, any, anyone up for a cooker update? Anyone? I can't remember if there was a cooker update earlier in this video. This has been recorded in two or three stages. Um, it's in, it's done, it's installed. 
yesterday I only posted a let's play video, no, I only did a mod review. Because the guys turned up kind of midway through the day to do it, and they had to have access to the fuse box and, and noise, and obviously Farm Dog went berserk because they were, it was stranger danger. Oh, I'm driving over everything. Which is fair enough. He's a dog, that's his job. So, yeah, in the end, I, I ran out of time. There was a few other jobs and things I needed to do, and um, but it's in, it's done, it works, it's all fantastic. So, the saga has ended. It's not going to be a saga like Beowulf. Songs won't be written about it or anything like that, but, you know. <laughs> I think that might actually be full. Oh, it is now. Right. I will finish the rest of this off myself, off camera, and then we'll whiz over and we'll check out if we found out anything new on the new bits of island we've uncovered. I'll see you over there in a minute. Barley harvest is complete. We've got about 13,000 litres off there, which is great. I fed a little bit to the chickens. The rest will be available to the pigs if they need it. We've got a few bits and bobs left over, which is all fine. I can only assume that all these little islands that have got all these various different things on, when this was more heavily, I say more heavily populated, more heavily populated than one, um, they obviously either had a little ferry, some sort of boat that moved things around, or they were joined up by these sorts of um, causeway spits of land or whatever, which I, I guess, like I said before, get eroded over time, get washed away during storms and that kind of thing, which isolates different sections. Now, these two islands, this one and this one, were already joined. I haven't done that join together. Um, I mean, you know what I mean? Within, yeah. They were already joined together. Nice bit of, a bit of beach. Well, this is massive. So there is always the possibility, once I've sort of linked up with a few of the islands that I can, I think this might be the last one, or is there one further on from this? So there's one further on from this that needs linking up to. I mean, I could link up to any of the others. That's going to be a bit of a monumental task because the uh, distance is involved. Yeah, look, there's a little bit there. So there's a gap I can get across to that one. Oh! A shelter of some description. <laughs> Whoever put that in. It's interesting having that shelter attached to the trees. That must move around quite a bit in the wind, I would imagine. But more importantly, we have a fertilizer spreader and some fertilizer. So, you know, say, and some fertilizer. That, oh, actually, does that do. That does lime as well, doesn't it? That opens up some options because all of our fields, all our fields need lime. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, pretty much. They all need liming. So, uh, lime, we're going to need lime. <laughs> Brilliant, we can do lime. We need lime. But that's going to help with fertilising. If we get a larger muck spreader as well, the combination of the two work out brilliantly. I haven't got a three point link on that so I can't take it back yet. That's fantastic. I like these little things we find. Now, if you didn't watch the video where I mentioned it, I haven't been placing these. Um, they've been placed by AN Other. Mr. Silly G has been coming on for me. And so it's not that kind of you know, that fake, I've put it there, so, oh, why is he pretending he doesn't know? She's been doing it. Which means, I don't. So, like I said, I lean in the direction of mentioning what sort of things I need. Oh, I didn't see that on the way around. What is that?
What is that? Wherever it is, it's in the grass. Is that a cultivator? Plow? Plow? No. What is that? Oh, hang on. Is that harrows? Whoa! What happened there? Wow. Uh, looks like a cultivator. Although, I'll be honest, I mean, that's... Don't get wrong. That's fantastic. I haven't got anything big enough to pull it. <laughs> so, it's great. Thank you. <laughs> to whoever left it here. But... Um, it looks like it's been here for a while because everything's kind of growing up through it, but the size of that, that's got to be 150 horsepower requirement, 100 horsepower, it's got to be more horsepower than I've got to pull it. Okay, oh, I don't know what that is, so it's a 7.4, is it 7.4? 7.4 metre, which... Going up from our, what have we got, a two or a three at the moment, three metre cultivator, that will make a massive difference once I get something big enough to pull it. Can I tow it back with this? Depends how wide it is, of course, as well, of whether I've made my um, access big enough. Is the access big enough? Please, hook up. Please, 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 please. Yes, right. This is KTP 7.4. Oh, that's all a bit fancy, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, it does wing up. That's good. And mind you, it's still quite white. Not that we've got to worry about hedges or fences or anything like that. Okay, so we have got a cultivator. I can scratch that off my list of things I need. Plough though, we still need a slightly larger plough, I think. Fertiliser and lime spreader, but we need lime. <laughs> cool! This sort of thing doesn't just wash up on the beach. If that falls off a boat, it sinks. The gods are smiling on us again. I mean, uh, to some degree, it's great, you know, that we have got a cultivator, but like I say, we do now need something to pull it. So, fingers crossed, on our order, that'll be the next thing to come. We've done the potatoes, the greenhouses are up and running, and we should be distilling. I'm thinking what we'll do with the distilling. We've got barrels over there. When we fill the barrels, we can sell the barrels on. We just need a, someone to supply them to. If we can ship them, maybe when things get delivered to us, we can ship the distilled potato, vodka, or whatever it ends up being, off the island. I wonder what we could get paid per barrel. Just thinking, how much would a small barrel hold? We'll have to check into that. Let's take this back. Oh, that's struggling a little bit. Come on, make the turn, make the turn, make the turn. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, all good. We've done, I've done a fair few jobs actually in this one, haven't we? We've cut some grass, filled the, the silage clamp, or second silage clamp. We've done the barley harvest, we've done the potatoes, we've sorted out the greenhouses, finished building that, or constructing, or you know, however you want to put it, and found some more gear. I'm going to have to grab the GT. Mm. I'm hoping the GT will be all right with that fertilizer spreader on the back. I don't know how heavy it'll be, but. We'll grab that, we'll bring it back. So, next is either going to be delivery will arrive, lime, we need to sort out somewhere. Yeah, lime, lime, lime. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. We did early on, didn't we? Where was that? Was that on, was that on the Northwest Island or was it on that one with the volcano? There was that little quarry, or it looked like a quarry. Maybe. Anyway, we have come to the end of this episode. More to look for, more expansion, more gear to come. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.